When I walk home every day, I usually think about silk pajamas. Well, silk pajamas and murderous clowns. You see, I'm in the business of disguises, of deception vis-a-vis -vis the practice of clothing oneself. I recently began an entrepreneurial independent enterprise hawking silk pajamas in a quasi-legal situation on a street corner near town center, under the assumption that the majority of society uses clothing to assume the opposite guise of their true personality. I saw silk pajamas as a way for the average masses to assume a facsimile of sophistication, of class. I have so far met with mixed results. Nice day, isn't it? No, it is not, clown. I hate Rollo the Clown. In this case, I seem to have forgotten my key. This happens on a disturbingly frequent basis. You see, I keep my key and my wallet in the same pocket of my pants. Unfortunately, the size of said wallet pushes the key out of the pocket, thus leaving me without a key and, ergo facto, needing my spare key, which I keep underneath one of my flower pots. Drat. Clearly, I've forgotten which one. Hello, Jack. I was I was wondering if you might be prevailed upon to perform a solid. I see. I seem to have misplaced my keys. Well, yes, I, I thought of that, but there's no spare to be found right now. No, Jack. For one of my nearest and dearest friends, you would have thought you would have come a little bit quicker when the cry for help was sounded. There's a damn key. What is that? I don't know. Wait right here. Right, right there. There is a side of me I haven't told you about yet. Whenever I get in a situation in which suspicious circumstances have arisen, I enjoy interpreting the clues a la Sherlock, you might say. And occasionally, I solve the crime. Well, actually, that's never happened. But in order to facilitate the process, I feel the need to dress myself in the garb of a detective. It makes me feel sophisticated, suave, and intelligent. I know who's committed the crime. There's no crime here, idiot. You lost your key. That is not the case. Rolo the Clown has taken my key. If you will direct your eyes over here, notice a footprint with a large, roundish top, like the clown shoes worn by none other than Rolo the Clown. Or, it could, it could, could be the stupidest thing I've ever heard. No, it is in fact the smartest thing you've ever heard. What's this? Face paint, like that worn by Rolo the Clown in his hideous smile. Please stop talking. I will not stop talking. Rolo the Clown has wronged me and I will intend to make it right. Let me tell you one thing, my dear Jack. Never try to interpret the twisted psyche of the clown. Rollo? 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 Damn. The clown was not there. <laughs> Hello, JP. 
Have you ever danced with the devil? Roll on. Roll on. You doing? You doing? You doing? Why am I a clown? <laughs> I didn't do this to you, Rollo. You are not a detective. You are a man. The Rollo. stupid, stupid man. Rollo, please. I see through you. Rollo. You don't need to do this, Rollo. I see through you. <laughs> In a way, it's ironic. <laughs> the man who came closest to discovering the true me was, well, let's just say, an idiot! <laughs> he told me once, he thought people wore clothes exactly the opposite of what they truly were. <laughs> His grandparent, he called it. I thought it was the dumbest thing that I'd ever heard. <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> he was right. <laughs> <laughs> ah!